different types of Google charts in WordPress uh, using WP data tables. In this tutorial, I'm not going to show you the process of creation of a chart because we have a separate tutorial on that so you can browse uh, and find it if you're interested. Here I'm just going to cover uh, the types of Google charts that are supported by WP data tables and give some comments. So there are a total of uh, 11 different charts supported. Let's go through each of them. First one is the very basic column chart. So in this type of chart, all the series are rendered in simple vertical columns, as you see. Uh, we use the same data set for most of the charts, so you could see how the same numbers are rendered in different charts. It's a simple table. You can also see it on our homepage. It's this table here called fruit consumption table. So basically it has the names and amounts of fruit eaten by uh, different people. So as I said, first one is the Google column chart. Here you see that horizontal axis can be string and uh, all other uh, series should be numerical. So it would render these correctly. So one string or date column supported and it will be used for horizontal axis. Other columns should have numerical values and at least two columns required because otherwise it would not make sense. Next one is a histogram chart. chart. And this type of chart as explained on Google itself, it is a chart that groups numeric data into bins and displaying the bins as, as segmented columns. So this depicts uh, the distribution of a data set, how often values fall into ranges. So you see the range in the uh, bottom part and you see the values, how they fall into this range. So these two fall in this range, while other are distributed within ranges. And there is the same set of limitations applied. One string or date column supported, other columns should have numerical values and minimum of two columns required. Third one is Google bar chart. It looks a little bit different, rendered a little bit different because it's uh, rendered by a newer library of Google which will probably later uh, be used for all of the Google charts. Now it's used only for a couple of them. Here you can uh, choose the uh, single choose the single series to highlight it or hover above it to see this nice hover overlay. So basically it's very similar to a column chart, but instead of uh, vertical columns you get horizontal bars and the same uh, limitations are applied. One string or date column supported, other columns should have numerical values and at least two columns required. Next one is a Google area chart. It is similar to a line chart which we'll see below, but the area below each line is colored by a color of your choice or by a color that uh, would be chosen automatically from the default palette of uh, Google. And the same limitations are applied to this chart as well. I will not repeat them. Next one is stepped area, which is basically same, but here uh, it connects the points with sharp lines. And here uh, it's more like, a, I don't know <laughs> like what, but angles are strictly straight. So uh, the buttons are, uh, the, the, the uh, peak, uh, peak values are in the middle of each step. So these are like steps of the area. Next one is the line chart. 
Uh, we made it to be rendered uh, with a little bit of uh, smoothing, so it wouldn't be uh, as sharp as the area chart, but would be uh, smoother instead. Basically, it is the same as the area chart, but uh, all, the, all the corners are smoothened, so it would look more like a function, and the area below each line isn't colored and the limitations are applied are the same one string or date column supported other columns should be numerical and at least two uh, columns required to render this next one uh, is a little bit different so we use the different uh, data set here it's a pie chart uh, so this kind of chart renders the series in a form of sliced pie and each slice stands for one series entry so here we can see uh, who ate all the pie so how many percents of the pie each person ate and also you can see the value of the slices so for example he ate se seven slices he ate two slices two slices four slices etc here uh, two columns strictly are required one should be string or date and this will be used to name the slices and another should be numerical another one is donut chart it's basically same but it it's, doesn't have the middle area so it looks more like a donut instead of a chart uh, and the same limitations are applied one string or date column supported uh, second column should have numerical value and strictly two columns required so we can't use one column can't use three columns strictly two another one is a Google bubble chart and as Google says the bubble chart is used to visualize a data set with two to four dimensions first two dimensions are visualized as coordinates and the third as color and the fourth as size so you can see how it's visualized our fruit consumption table so the higher numbers are the more green it gets and yeah so actually i'm not sure how this bubble chart should be used i suppose when you have many dimensions like you need to visualize different countries by number of citizens also territory also yearly uh, profits etc I don't know uh, probably you would tell me <laughs> and here the limitations are also similar one string or date column is, will, is supported it will be used for naming other columns should have numerical values and minimum of two columns is required one more chart is the Google scatter chart it's also rendered by a newer library so it also has different fonts applied and a little bit different rendering some newer features it's uh, plots points of the graph and you can hover above them and see more information so it's a scatter plot with distribution John ate seven oranges, George ate six oranges, Paul ate six apples, etc. So, it's easier to see and understand how it works rather than hear an explanation. Next one is the Google Gauge chart. Um, I don't know will it be very useful but since Google supports it we did edit support as well so it renders a simple gauge uh, limitations are that one string or date column is supported and it will be used to name the gauges uh, the other columns should have numerical values two columns strictly are required and I also put here that it's better not to have many rows because each row will be rendered as a gauge. No, so here we had two rows and we had two gauges and here it looks okay, but if we would have 15, it would not make much sense, I guess. So uh, that's it. That's, that are all the uh, 
types of Google charts that we support at the moment. I hope that was a useful overview. Thanks for watching and see you next tutorials. WP Data Tables, the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your WordPress site. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.